Hello everyone, so welcome to today's video. We are doing a first impressions on a product that honestly it's got it's got me feeling some kind of ways. Okay, so this particular blush is selling out constantly and I definitely wanted to try it. I've seen it on Instagram and I always thought, you know, that seems a little I'm not sure, right? So it's a product that seems to be very popular. I got mine through Ulta. It was sold out and then it came back in stock. I put it in my cart and then I totally forgot to finalize my purchase, as I often do, put things in my cart, get sidetracked with all my littles that are running around the house and I forget to finish my purchase. So then I'll come back at the end of the night, the next day or whenever and try to finish it. And when I did that, the product was sold out. So I had to wait again. So of course, naturally, that kind of gets me thinking, what is so special about this? Because generally, I am like curious. So when it came back in stock, I snagged it and I'm glad I did. Like I said, I got mine through Ulta. You can get it um, on Ulta's website. You can also get it on the brand's website. And I honestly have legitimate concerns. So this is like my before reaction kind of talking to you about the product showing you the product giving you my thoughts on this specific product and why i feel like i'm a little i'm a little hesitant a little scared right so we're gonna get into it and i'm gonna share with you what the product is so i'm at the point in my routine where it's time for blush and highlights i have everything else i will list all the products that i'm wearing down below but today's video is all about the persona bubble blush stick yes I got this wild crazy color that I am just like what is so special about this so I am a big fan of cream blushes I absolutely love blushes in stick form I feel like they are easy to work with for the most part travel friendly so when I saw it in the cream form I got it and so seeing that it's the same color in two different formulas. I feel like there's a reason why this brand is putting out this product in these two formulations because it must be popular. It must be good, right? So it looks wild online. Like that's just like the bright sticker, but on the inside, <laughs> this is what it looks like. It is a bright bubblegum Barbie pink. That is the best way for me to describe it. I have only taken off the little clear cap that comes on this, have not swatched it, have not even applied it. It's my first time doing it and I turned on the camera because we're doing this today. So my initial thoughts were, okay, that seems bright, bold, crazy, completely out of my element. I own nothing like this. Yet something about it draws me to this, maybe because of the popularity, could be, the fact that it's hard to get your hands on maybe or can this actually truly be a very beautiful kind of dare I say natural look to the skin it looks scary here am I gonna look like I belong to my local circus or is this actually gonna be pretty flattering is this gonna be like a thing that I'm gonna want to use again or am I wasting the money that I spent for this and I want to say it's around 23 to 26 dollars so not the cheapest but also not the most expensive blush that there is on the market. So have you tried it? Let me know. I want I want to chat in the comment section. Like I'm like scared because I don't want to ruin my makeup if this doesn't turn out well. So I'm a little scared, but I wanted to film my first reaction and then I want to do the demo kind of applying it as I would any other product that's in a cream form like this. And then Kind of giving you my thoughts after I apply it and it's on and I can kind of get a feel for what it's like. So we're going to just go ahead and get into applying this product. So I normally use my angled brush. This is a mini size blush brush from It Cosmetics. This is what I use to apply my cream blushes, liquid blushes. I always apply them to the back of my hand, work off of my hand and then apply. And I also have my beauty sponge here. You may see it here in the corner. Um, I use a beauty sponge to blend out any excess. If it's a little harsh looking, if I got too close to my nose, I kind of work with it and blend it 
so that it looks a little more natural. So I have that ready with a paper towel just in case I need to wipe my brush off because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Just applying it to the back of my hand and it immediately looks very glossy and kind of dewy. So we're gonna see if that's the finish that I'm gonna get. But it is very bright and bold and super, super creamy, I would say. I'm only gonna do a couple swipes on the back of my hand and then I'm just gonna work this product into my brush, coating my brush entirely. And then I've got myself a mirror handy, ready to go. So I'm going to start towards the top part, like higher up on my cheekbones. It's showing up. <laughs> higher up on my cheekbones where I normally apply my blush and then I will blend it a little bit closer to the nose, but I like to start with the most product out here. And I need to pick up some more on the back of my hand and do the same here. So I like to kind of place it and then sort of figure out how much more I wanna add. But I think that this is pretty much where I'm, I'm good with it. So I'm gonna wipe off the brush just on the back of my hand where there isn't any product. And then I'm gonna start blending. And it does have a bit of a kind of a very subtle dewy finish. It's not very wet looking. It's not super oily or greasy, which I personally like. I don't want my blush to be that emollient looking. It does look like that. And even if you look at the swatch, it looks very kind of wet in a way, but it's just that kind of creamy formula that's somewhat emollient. And I do feel like it blends well. It's incredibly pigmented and I do go over the tip of my nose and then I just like to with whatever's left kind of do one of these numbers just to kind of get a bit of a somewhat of a sun-kissed glow like a sunburnt kind of feel um, and I tend to do that with my blushes it's still kind of damp I can go over it and sort of soften all right so the product is on and it went on very well applied well and it blended easily. I don't feel like it disturbed my makeup underneath. I hope that this wears well throughout the day. I'm not familiar with the Persona brand of blushes. I am kind of curious to see how this is gonna wear throughout the day. So I'll kind of have to maybe do a, like a, a comment or something in the description box letting you guys know. But so far, I do think that this looks very natural. Like even though it's really scary in the actual component like I'm shocked genuinely shocked that this is really pretty and actually dare I say it looks like a natural flush to the skin because this looks very much like it could go wrong very very quickly and there I guess there's just something about this this color this specific tone that when you apply it it just actually looks like a nice rosy flush from within the skin and there is a little bit of a luminosity going on, but I do think that that is also part of the base complexion products that I have, the kind of glowy setting powder that I used. Um, I do feel like that is adding to it. So I don't think that this is like overly dewy. So if you have combination oily skin, you could use this and maybe set it with a powder. If you get the powder version of this, you can kind of work both of them together. But generally speaking, from my first impressions, I'm shocked. Completely shocked that this actually worked. Because <laughs> I was genuinely concerned and scared. When I turn on the camera and I'm like, here we go. Am I going to mess things up today? Am I going to have to take everything off and start over? Can I make it work if it doesn't, if it goes south? But it actually ended up being a pleasant surprise. Very, very surprised. And... I kind of feel like this kind of opened my eyes a little bit so that when I see something on social media or I happen to watch a video on YouTube and I see something that looks a little, that might be a little too bold, a little too out of my comfort zone, maybe I should just try it because I could be surprised. It could be my next favorite thing, but I'm not going to know that until I actually try it, right? So, and that's why I love makeup because it just, it transforms you and makes you feel so much better. And you, when you wear products that are actually great, you're just like, whoa. You know what I mean? Like it just makes you feel so much better. 
and when you actually like the product and how it looks on your skin, you're just like, great. I didn't waste my money. And that's exactly how I feel. And so I can see myself using this again. And I might incorporate this in a future tutorial. But I am very, very shocked. Like, completely blown away. I didn't think that I was going <laughs> to like this product as much as I did. But it actually looks really really pretty and I feel like the only thing that's left in my routine is my highlight which I will do off camera but I mean that's not really part of today's video so I'm going to do that after I wrap up this video but I feel like I can see why people enjoy this product and why it people like this color and it may be scary and you probably watching are thinking no way there's just no way that I would wear that or can pull this off I thought the same and now I'm thinking yeah, I'm going to use this again tomorrow when I do my makeup because it's really pretty and it's a beautiful pink color. It is vibrant, but it's not to the point where it looks odd and like that's totally not up my alley. Like it's something that I could work with. So I guess just try it and see what you think for yourself. If you have it, if you're kind of curious as well or you want to try it or you try it after watching my video, let me know. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm there periodically sharing things with you guys, beauty related things, home stuff, personal stuff, um, just a mix of things every now and again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video. Also hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for being here.